Hey guys, it's Carlos with RMS Slack Cars. And today I want to talk to you about Carrera Digital. Here's a Carrera Digital car, an example of one. And here is what I want to talk about. It's about the little switch on the bottom of a Carrera Digital slot car. A lot of people, people ask, is the switch a digital to analog switch? The short answer is yes and no. Let's go over to the track. I'm going to show you how it works and it'll fully explain what this switch does on a digital slot car and an analog slot car. The best way to demonstrate the difference between Carrera Digital and Carrera Analog, and to a degree for that matter, any digital to analog system, is to show the comparison side by side. So here's a Carrera Digital track uh, turned on with a Carrera Digital car on the track. Here's Carrera Analog track with a Carrera Analog car on the track as well. Um, and as you can see, this is digital and you, you'll know because it, the car is not moving, but the lights are on. It has headlights and it has a, uh, a flasher on the top. Not all, not all cars come with a flasher, but that's, not, that's neither here nor there for the purposes of, of talking about the switch on the bottom of the car. So on a digital car, you're going to see a the LED emitter right here that's what you see right there and you see the switch which is a polarity switch okay and on an analog car there's no led emitter but you still have a polarity switch so let me show you how that works okay so when the switch is in its normal position on a career digital car the car is going to go from right to left okay so you can see how it'll go from right to left now if i turn the car around you see, nothing happens. It's in the, you know, there's no, the lights are not on or anything like that. So I turn the car back around in either lane, the lights are on, okay, in regular direction. But if I turn in the opposite direction, nothing happens. The lights are not on, the car, it won't work or anything like that. So you hit the polarity switch. You just flip the switch on the bottom. I can't show it, not that good, but uh, there you go. And now you can go in the opposite direction, okay? That's what the switch is for. So in this direction, it'll go obviously in either lane, uh, and it goes from left to right as opposed to right to left, okay? You flip, flip it back, and once again, you're back to going in the regular direction. Um, now, if you take a Carrera analog car and you put it on a digital track, what would happen? I'll show you. You put it on the track, and the, the car goes, okay? So, that's because there's current running through or, or voltage running through the track at all times. It's actually talking to the chip in a Carrera digital car. But the type of chip that's in this car, in an analog car, if it receives any voltage, it's just going to go down the track. And it's going to go based on the direction that the switch is in. Now, talking about the switch, once again, we're talking about a polarity, the polarity switch, which is the one in the middle there. That can, determines the direction that the car will travel. So if I take this Carrera digital car and I place it on an analog track, what happens? Nothing. Okay. But it's going to be a little bit hard to show if I turn it around. Okay. And I turn it around. All I did was turn it around. A couple seconds, a couple of hits of the, the throttle. Now it will go. And as you can see, it goes in the opposite direction. Now, most people want to go travel, have their cars travel in the same direction, which is why you have the polarity switch. So I take it and I change the position of the switch. And now I can go in the same direction on an analog track that I would on a digital track. That's why that switch on the bottom is simply a polarity switch. Okay. So taking the same principle here, here is the analog car. Okay. If we put it on the digital track, it's just going to fly. And and actually, it's an, not it's, these two are wired in opposite polarity. That's the way they do it. And they do it for, there's a reason why they do it. That'll be time for another video. But they're in opposite polarity. So I tip the car down, it, can actually go, it actually goes back. So if I want to go in the same direction, well, which you wouldn't do anyways, but you flip the switch and now it's like going forward. Okay. But the reason they give you the polarity switch on the bottom is so that you can actually go in the opposite direction on your analog track. See, you can go in the opposite direction if you choose to do so. I mean, some people like to go left to right. Some people like to go right to left. It's your choice. 
But again, the reason for the switch on the bottom of, the, of all career cars is that direction switch, right to left, left to right. So again, if I wanna go left to right on my digital track, the car is set up, I can go left to right, okay? And I can take it and I can go right to left on my analog track. It has to do with quick programming. It does that. I don't know why it does it that way, but it'll, as you can see, go, it goes right to left. Okay. So as you can see, that switch, and then if I want to go in the opposite direction for some strange reason, who knows? I can just flip the switch and go back in the other direction. As you can see, hit the controller, car goes in the opposite direction. And in this position, it's already set up to go into career digital to go forward. So as you can see, there's no switch to flip. You don't have to flip the switch to go from analog to digital. You just go. Um, that's how it works. Again, the switch in the bottom is a polarity switch, meaning left to right or right to left. And it's on a digital car and they're also on an analog car. Simply a polarity switch. It determines the direction your car travels as you're facing the track. That's all it does. But it's not, it's, it does not make a car go digital versus analog. So I hope that helped to clear up the question. The switch on the bottom of a Carrera digital car is simply a polarity switch. It comes up both digital cars and analog cars. And you see how it works. It basically controls direction, right to left and left to right.